picked up a guitar I was like 13 um, you actually bought me my first guitar but I never actually got into it and really started playing it probably till like three years after that um, and what inspired me to start playing was I would go to local punk rock shows at the Cafe Metropolis in wilkes Bear and just watching these bands and watching their energy and people vibing from them is just such a good time and I just I want to be the person doing that. I want to be on stage. I want to make people feel like that. So I picked up a guitar and started to practice a little bit more. <laughs> Definitely you practice um, your speed and you do your pentatonic scales. Um, and yeah, if you have to, like even if you're just sitting there on the couch watching TV, like and you, you want to advance that you're picking. <laughs> Just keep doing it until you get it, or you want to do something, you know, a little bit faster. So, just uh, repetition, and yet you have to just give it time. Yeah. <laughs> I already said this a bunch of times, but practice as much as you can, and you have to be dedicated to. It's another thing. If you want to be a real rocker, you have to dedicate your whole life to this, so be prepared. <laughs> what we're uh, what you're gonna do here, we're tuned in drop D. So all that means is you're tuning your low E string, so it should be. standard right there. There's your E chord. And what you're going to do is you're going to match it with your D string. Cool. Now we're in D. So this riff, we're going to start the only strings that we're going to use are your low D and then A. Um, so I'll play it real quick. Cool. So we're going to start. The frets that we're using are we're using our open D. Fifth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the E string, five, three, three, open, three down here, five. So I'll play it really slow. power chords rather than be one, two, three, three frets away. You guys know what power chords are. You can just uh, bar it. Just one finger. We're adding a palm muting technique in there to where you put your palm all the way at the bridge. Not too much because then you know, it'll sound like that. Right there in that sweet spot. And then we're also adding little pitch harmonics. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Thank you.